Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Force here with another discussion video. Today, we will be talking about the world of Warcraft, specifically the upcoming Warlords of Draenor expansion launching in just a couple of days. And the question I'm posing for you is, is the expansion doing enough to bring you back to WoW? And if not, I'd actually, I'm interested to find out if there is anything that would ever bring you back to the world of Warcraft. So I'd like to just talk about some of the uh, upcoming changes. I actually just did a bit of research this afternoon. I, I knew some of the stuff that was getting changed, but I, I didn't know everything. So I'd like to go over some of this stuff with you and uh, then get your opinions at the end of the video. Uh, in the background, you're just taking a look at some leveling gameplay for my warrior. Uh, I actually already have a level 90 warrior, but I just thought it'd be fun to pass some time and, and level up a, a new one. It's also helping remind me how to play since it's been a while since I've touched WoW. Okay, so features for the Warlords of Draenor. First of all, we're getting the level cap raised to 100 from the current cap of 90. And to go along with that, uh, there's a bunch of things that have changed with like our characters. So there's been a stat squish, so we're not going to be seeing numbers quite as crazy as we saw, say, in Cataclysm or in Mist of Pandaria. They're scaling things down a little bit, but everything. They're scaling damage, they're scaling HP, everything is going down, trying to normalize those numbers a little bit. With that uh, stat squish, uh, we've also gotten a change to... Uh, some of the gear stuff is going to be changing up. I don't really... I don't want to go into a ton of detail, but they're changing a little bit of how gear works. They're making it so that the set pieces you get from raids and stuff are going to be more tailored to your specific character. And there's also a, a, going to be a big shift in talents. There's a talent trimming that's taking place. And they've talked about this in the past, and they've changed the talent system and the skill system in the past. Uh, but this one in particular, the real goal is to try to centralize each of the classes, it seems. What they've talked about is, as the expansions came out, you just got more and more skills added to your hotbar, and they've pruned here and there, but the numbers were still quite high. They're trying to bring those numbers down to a more manageable number of skills for you to be using, basically at any given moment. They wanna make it so that you can quite easily use all of the skills at your disposal. Uh, and so it's sort of interesting, because with every expansion, I've come back and at least played a little bit, and every time, I've had to sort of relearn my character. Uh, but it does seem like this time, from what I've seen so far, uh, obviously we're going to get a couple more skills when we go from 90 to 100. Uh, all of it feels a little more basic, but a little more vanilla. And when I say that, I don't mean vanilla in, like, plain. I mean vanilla in, like original WoW. They, they were playing the Warrior in particular on the beta servers, I really felt like this feels very reminiscent to how, say, an ARMS Warrior played back when the game level cap was 60, you know? So it's pretty interesting. I'll be interested to see sort of how these characters feel as we go from 90 to 100, but that is happening. Uh, they're obviously, we're going to be getting new zones. So the brand new area that we're going to is Draenor, and that's going to be a bunch of new zones, seven new zones, plus a, a PvP zone tossed in there. And something that's uh, interesting about this, it, it obviously very much so they are trying to sort of pull in that, that vanilla and Burning Crusade demographic. Specifically, this is sort of of like a retooled version of the Burning Crusade zones. Uh, it's it's sort of it's like a parallel timeline in the it's in the past and it's a parallel timeline to events that could have happened or so. I don't know exactly how the storyline stuff's going. I typically don't give much of a crap for lore stuff anyways. So, but yeah, it's a uh, it, there. It seems like they're really trying to sort of pull in the heartstrings of people who played World of Warcraft within within those first few years to try to get them to come back. Uh, new PvP stuff is happening. They've changed some things. Like, obviously, we're going to be getting new dungeons. Uh, I guess eight new dungeons in total. We're getting new raids, uh, and new PvP zones, new PvP areas. And there's uh, one thing that I'm particularly excited about, and this sort of harkens back to what I just talked about, the fact that they're trying to get some of those old school players back. Uh, there's going to be a limited time Torn Mill versus South Shore deathmatch style battleground so this is not objective based it's 100 percent like og it's original uh <laughs> to how pvp was before pvp was added to wow and basically everyone centralized around two zones it was torn mill versus south shore in between those two towns there were big fights and then besides that people were in stranglethorn vale and that's what pvp was in this game 
prior to Battlegrounds. And then, you know, there were spatterings as you level up as well, uh, which I really, really enjoyed that. Some of that stuff I really miss about uh, original WoW. You know, there's always that feeling you can never recapture to, to your first big delve into an MMO. I played MMOs in the past, but this was the first one I dedicated a bunch of time to. And there's always that sense of wonder. But I think something in particular that was really interesting about Vanilla was without the existence of flying mounts uh, and without the existence of PvP, in battlegrounds, like instanced off areas, there was just a whole bunch of more activity that took place within the world itself while you were questing, leveling up, all that stuff. There was a lot of activity all the time. And that appears to not be the case so much uh, within the past few years, the past few expansions, because everyone goes to these set areas to PvP. So at the very least, I mean, this is going to be another one of those instanced uh, areas with TM versus uh, SS uh, for this new battleground thing. But I, I guess it'll at least give me some nice memories of how I remember PvP being back in the day. Although, unless it's laggy as shit and there's like hundreds of people on each side, it won't be an exact replication. Uh, so just, yeah, just wanted to touch on some of the new things that are coming up, some of the stuff that's changing. Um, there's some other things. I haven't mentioned everything here, but I guess I just wanted to touch on some of the big keystones uh, that I'm aware of and that I w I'd like to know how you feel about it. Are you going to come back to World of Warcraft for the Warlords of Draenor? Are you going to stay far, far far away. Uh, I myself, as has been the case with the last few expansions, I'll probably come back for a few weeks. Uh, you know, I played hardcore like 40 hours plus a week from vanilla all the way up till the end of Wrath of the Lich King. And then I only only really played a couple of weeks to a month or so for each of the subsequent expansions. And I really expect this to pretty much be the same thing. You know, after so many years of playing so much of this game, you do kind of burn out and you are always looking for new experiences. And that's definitely the case for me. Uh, but it's fun to go back. It's fun to see what has changed and sort of follow it, even if it's just a little bit uh, throughout the development of it as it continues to be the most popular sub-based MMO in existence uh, until that changes and something else dethrones it, I think I'll always sort of keep tabs on what WoW is doing. All right, guys, that is going to do it. Please let me know your thoughts of this upcoming expansion and whether or not you're going to come back. And if not, what would WoW have to do to get you to come back? Do they need a complete graphical overhaul? It does there need to basically be a WoW 2.0 for you to ever consider revisiting this game? Or are there particular systems that you'd like to see in place, like the removal of flying mounts and battlegrounds? <laughs> <laughs> That's something that I would actually really kind of enjoy. Or maybe I wouldn't. I don't know. Maybe those are just those glasses tinted in my memory. All right. Thanks, guys, so much for watching. Hope you have a good afternoon. I will see you tomorrow and in a couple of days for Wallager Draenor. Keep watching and keep on it. Everything must burn. None shall know the Scarlet Crusades. Shed. You too shall be charged. Blast. Thank <laughs> you.